At first glance, Camp Polk Meadow looks healthy, with a lovely creek flowing through the valley. The meadow is home to wildlife. The water is not polluted. The creek banks are lined with trees. It is, to our eyes, a typical northwestern landscape. Today we've become accustomed to seeing White Shoes Creek flow in an unnaturally straightened channel along the edge of the meadow. But historically, White Shoes Creek used to flow as a meandering path through the meadow, providing really high quality fish and wildlife habitat. At the turn of the century, homesteaders arrived in Sisters, Oregon, and Camp Polk Meadow was the first recorded settlement. Well, the homesteaders that came here came in 1870, and they were trying to use the meadow to produce crops, especially grains, uh, which were the gasoline of that time uh, for their animals. Settlers arrived to a lush meadow with abundant fish and wildlife, edible plants, and cold, clean water. Wychus Creek flows out of the Cascade Mountains through steep boulder canyons, brushing past pine forests, toward the community of Sisters, Oregon. For another 22 miles, the creek flows through arid ranch land and high desert before it joins the Deschutes River. Historically, thousands of salmon and steelhead traveled hundreds of miles from the Pacific Ocean to spawn in Wychus Creek, including the premier spawning grounds at Camp Polk Meadow. Over the last 100 years, the creek was increasingly tapped for irrigation. In time, it began running dry during the hot summer months. I cannot find fault with those folks who took all the water. They needed it to make a living, to uh, grow their crops, and for domestic use. They didn't have to take it all, but in those days, everyone's mindset was, it'll last forever. In the 1960s, Wychus Creek was fundamentally changed and much of the outstanding habitat was lost. The creek that once meandered through the meadow was pushed to the side of the valley, turned into a straight, deep, eroding channel. At the same time, hydroelectric dams were being built on the Deschutes River, blocking the path for migrating fish. Eventually, salmon and steelhead no longer reached Wychus Creek. When the area was up for sale, the Deschutes Land Trust saw a different future for this meadow. Well, the landowner had subdivided the property into, I believe, seven home sites, and each of those home sites had a small piece of the meadow. And it looked like, at, at that time, that the meadow was going to be forever broken into pieces. But because the landowner was patient and willing to work with us, because Portland General Electric was willing to work with us, we had the time to put a deal together that allowed us to acquire the 145 acres down in the meadow. As a result, we're able to now re-meander the creek and, we hope, re-establish uh, a very important run of steelhead and salmon. Deschutes Land Trust sought the expertise of the Upper Deschutes Watershed Council and Deschutes National Forest to manage, design, and implement the restoration project. By restoring this area, we have the opportunity to restore high-quality habitat, provide cold, clean water, and help support the return of steelhead for the first time since the 1960s. When complete, the project will return nearly two miles of Wychus Creek to its historic location meandering through Camp Polk Meadow, restoring 35 acres of wetlands and more than 100,000 native plants. The reintroduction of salmon and steelhead is very much focused in the White Shoes Creek watershed. And the Camp Polk area was historically very important for steelhead in the White Shoes Creek area. So restoring habitat here at Camp Polk actually helps support that larger reintroduction effort. It is going to take 10 years, numerous volunteers, and almost $2 million to complete this project. The effort won't be easy or neat or quick. There will be noise and dust and temporary disruptions to wildlife. And it will be a few years before the native habitat is fully restored. But for many, it is worth it. It represents an opportunity to see the meadow and creek through a new lens. As a home for wildlife where nature can run its course. A place where Wychus Creek can flow freely. <laughs>